Hey guys, I heard that some of you have been asking for more tips on Arch Tempered Valkana, so I went and slammed out a few runs to give everyone some pointers on how to farm ATVs more efficiently, either with a party or soloing. I have compiled some of the things I watch out for and keep in mind for every single run, and if you are having some trouble with the fight, I hope these tips help you out. So without any further stalling, let's dive straight into some general gameplay strategies to keep in mind as you fight one of the hardest monsters in Monster Hunter World. The first thing I noticed that was very important to clearing the hunt smoothly is a focus on evasion-based playstyles. There are certain weapons that you can use a guard playstyle, most notably the Charge Blade, which allows you to get a free SAED each time Valkana does the Cascade. I'll go into that move specifically later. For now, let's focus on the general playstyle. The reason why evasion-based playstyles work better than guard-based playstyles in this fight is due to its unblockable icy ground attack, even with a guard up decoration. This icy ground spawn regularly appears throughout the fight when Valkana breathes downward and when it hits you with its Ice Beam 360 during its ultimate. In both cases, you'll be taking a hefty chunk of damage as a result, if not fatal. With that in mind, I recommend that you are comfortable performing your mobility options with your weapon, whether it be a short iframe dash with dual blades, or rolling around with your heavy bow gun. Another weapon mechanic that players should be comfortable with are repositioning attacks, such as the lunging downward slash on the Savage Axe, or the jumping white slash, which allow players to attack instead of evade during certain attacks with poor tracking, such as Valkana's tail stabs. On the topic of positioning, there is a very important positioning tip that players should pay attention to. Valkana has very little attacks that come out with little telegraph, Combined with its large sweeping attacks, it makes little sense on keeping your distance. Instead, I advise players to stay up close and personal to Valkana's body. This will provide players a better opportunity to punish Valkana between attacks. Unless you are able to run up to Valkana during the attack taking place, you will probably arrive at Valkana's face right on time for Valkana's next attack if you are far away. In multiplayer, this is even more egregious, as while you're far away, there is a chance Valkana will leave the vicinity of your team who are doing meaningful damage in order to target you, forcing your entire team to reposition towards you, for the same reason why repositioning to chase after Valkana after an attack will deny you punishes. This situation will deny 3 players of a potential punish on Valkana after its attack. Usually, if I'm worried about dying, I would position myself just outside of Sword's reach of Valkana, while circling to use a Max Potion or Great Sushi Fish Scale. This method allows me to quickly react and leave the threat range of any attacks while keeping Valkana's repositioning to a bare minimum. Next bit we'll talk a little bit more about some of the openings that I look for when I fight ATV. These tips can be used to a lesser extent if you're having trouble with fighting Valkana in general. The biggest one I look for is an attack when Valkana breathes into the ground, forming a cascade of ring-shaped AoEs that propagates outwards. Usually, Valkana would use this attack after performing a tilt thrust and screeching at the targeted character while in its ice platform, and uses it as a finisher for its ultimate attack following the 360 breath sweep. This attack has an amazing punish window, as Valkana has a very predictable movement, and stays stationary for a few seconds after landing, being even longer if she used the ultimate. To punish this, I will look at which team member she screeched at and rush to their position, and try to position myself near the center of the attack. In terms of the ultimate attack, players should be completely safe if they are following my positioning tip and stay close to the chest, as the sweep will completely miss the player as Valkana spins around. The position to punish this cascade can vary slightly depending on the weapon, but generally finding a way to tank through or evade the innermost explosion allows players to charge up a large punish as a result. The next attack of note are all the delayed attacks. Due to the delay, it becomes a little difficult to ascertain the exact timing of the dodge. If you find yourself unable to leave the AoE of these delayed ice attacks, I find it much easier to time the iframe or super armor by doing a single roll first, followed by your defensive option of choice, whether you plan to tackle, guard point, or backstep with the SNS. As you get a better handle of the timing of the hitbox, you can start foregoing the initial roll and simulate the roll in your head as you prepare a charge swing into a tackle or a backstep immediately into a perfect rush on the head. Aside from these attacks, I think that players should have a relatively good time gauging and dodging attacks as they come. The tempo for Arch Temper Valkana is very fast, so a moment of hesitation can make the difference between having the time to complete an attack 
or being blasted for overcommitting. Prior to going into a hunt, I advise players to be comfortable initiating their highest DPS attacks in all the paths that can lead to that attack. If you have any mechanics that you're having trouble with that I did not mention, feel free to drop them into the comments below. Otherwise, if you have any setups for players to try out, don't be afraid to share with the community. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.